Today, I'm making American goulash. I'll be making two versions here, one with ground beef and another with Beyond Burger. I've never used the Beyond Burger plant-based patties, and the last time I was in Aldi, they had those on sale, so I thought this would be a great time to test it out and see how I like them. Goulash is a popular American comfort food. And so as not to confuse my viewers from other countries, American goulash is not at all like Hungarian goulash. Most American goulash recipes call for beef of some kind, macaroni noodles, tomatoes, either tomato paste or tomato sauce, onions, garlic, and paprika. Some recipes include cheese. I'll be using sharp cheddar in my recipe. I'll also be using a little bit of chicken bouillon in place of chicken broth. But I also have the vegetable bouillon that I'll be using in the other version. For the meat version that I'm making, I'll be using just over a half a pound of ground beef for two servings. I'll put the recipe that serves four in the description area of my video. When I was cooking this dish, the delicious aroma of the spices made me realize that it's really the spices that help to make a house feel like a home. There's nothing more comforting or nurturing than the scent of a good meal cooking. And I think the best way to do that is to cook with the spices that you love the most. For me, that's definitely onion and garlic powder. I've also been using paprika a lot lately, and that reminds me I forgot to add it to this recipe. I'm using a Spanish paprika, which is basically just going to give it a smoky flavor. I added quite a bit here because we really like this, but I do recommend starting with one teaspoon and you can always add more later. If you have paprika and you're not sure which kind you have, just taste it and you'll be able to tell right away. It'll either be sweet, smoky, or hot. And actually any of those would probably work well in this dish. I had some Hungarian paprika, which is hot, but I'm out of that at the moment. Otherwise I would probably add a little bit in for some heat. Some people like to add in cayenne as well. For this version, I'm going to make it very hearty with a small amount of liquid. If you want more broth in yours, just add more chicken bouillon with water at the end. I picked up these two rolls of French bread this morning while I was at Sam's Club. They are super fresh and I think they'll make great garlic bread to go along with my goulash. And for these, I'm just going to butter the bread and I'll add a little bit of garlic salt and just a touch of Parmesan cheese. Then I'll broil it for a few minutes. This is the kind of Parmesan that I put on my garlic bread. I like to get these big canisters at Sam's Club because I love this Parmesan cheese on my popcorn. Thank you. 
At this point, you may be noticing that some of the goulash has disappeared from my pan. My youngest son smelled the deliciousness that was permeating our home and wanted a bowl, so I only have one serving remaining in the pan. Since I was making two versions of this, I didn't want to make a big batch. If you can add chopped cilantro or parsley to this dish, I definitely recommend it. It adds such a nice fresh balance to the meal. Wow, the flavor in this dish is phenomenal. If I like beef, I think I would rate this a 10, but I don't really care for the flavor of beef. You could also make this with ground turkey or ground chicken, and I think that'd be really good. This was the first time that I tried the Sam's Club French bread, and it was really good. So soft and chewy. I'm not sure if it's extra delicious because I've been swearing off bread lately, but I really enjoyed it. Okay, I'm really excited to try this version with the Beyond Burger. I'm not going to show this on camera because I'm basically going to be making it almost the exact same way. But I did want to show the patty, and to be honest with you, I'm a little skeptical of this. I do, however, like the fact that it's made with some pea proteins because as someone who eats a lot of soy products, I think it's a good idea to moderate that a little bit. Here is the finished version, and I made mine with more broth. And I also added a little of this togarashi powder, which is basically just red chili peppers, but it has such a wonderful flavor with a moderate amount of heat, and it gave the overall dish a really nice flavor. As for the Beyond Burger, I felt it tasted just like beef, so I wasn't really a fan. And when my oldest son tasted this, he loved it so much, he said, had I not told him that it was Beyond Burger, that he would have thought it was a beef version. And he also really enjoyed the addition of the togarashi. So it's definitely fun to experiment when you're cooking with adding different spices. And I do think next time I would love to add some green peppers and maybe some zucchini for my version. I would also like to try this with some whole foods like the barley or the wheat berries. And as far as taste wise, I think I like the Morningstar Farms products a little bit better than the Beyond Burger. I don't think I would buy this again. This recipe, however, is definitely a keeper. It's comfort food at its finest. It was so satiating and satisfying. I do hope you'll give this recipe a try because it was really good. Thanks so much for watching my recipe video. I'll see you in the next one. Morning has broken. Our windows are open. Wanna feel the through my hair which way do i follow what happens tomorrow i turn to you and hope you can guide the way sometimes